In today's video, we're going to use the pre-attentive attribute of shapes to help you find insights and also communicate them super effectively to your audience. In this example, you can see how we had ice cream sales by investment in TV advertising for each particular day of a year. This is for a fictitious ice cream company to see if there's any correlation or any insights they can find in where to spend their TV dollars. And there's no correlation. You might be spending a lot in TV and getting no sales, or spending very little in TV and getting lots of sales. There's no real insight here, and it just confuses everyone. But what happens if we change one thing and make the days where the temperature was over 30 degrees centigrade a different shape? This is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's now a linear correlation between when you invest more money in TV you get more money in ice cream sales on the really hot days. It's super easy for you to find that insight, but it's also now super easy for you to convey that to your audience visually in this chart. Even if you didn't tell them what was going on, they'd see this pattern and make that connection. Obviously, you have to watch out for the pitfall that correlation doesn't equal causation, but that's a topic for a different video. And it's super easy to do in Tableau. All you do is find the dimension you want to set as different shapes. In this case, it's going to be temperature and we have a binary label of about 30 degrees centigrade, below 30 degrees centigrade. And we're just going to left click, drag, pop it on shape, let go, and that's it. You can control what shapes are what. So for example, if you want to make this a square, hit apply. You can choose different drop downs. So maybe we want to make this a filled square for above 30 degrees. And there you go. Hopefully you can see how this one powerful pre-attentive attribute of shapes can make insights and patterns pop out of your data visualizations for you to find and for your audience to see super clearly. If you like this, subscribe to this playlist to see me cover all the other common pre-attentive attributes which can help you very quickly and easily up your data visualization and data-driven storytelling game. Thank you very much.